What is going on today guys? We are back for another episode in the leaderboard event. Now we got a little bit of a triple clean out done. Um, I started working on getting the the path down in there so we can get to that really good gold. I got that done and I gotta say that was two days, two end game days of like the biggest struggle ever. Oh my god I was so ready to pull my hair out by the time I was done with that is is a big pain in the butt just huge pain in the butt but anyway we got some uh, these are the the jig buckets that are in here first so this is gonna be kind of a mixed batch of kind of kind of crappy crappy gold to start with um, we're mining some less than exceptional stuff that's for sure but it should do the trick you know it's pretty pretty light these first buckets are gonna be but after that it should get it should get better but we will have to wait and see it's kind of a mess in here I really do want to get get these things moved because they're just not in a good spot not a big fan of not a big fan of how it's set up at the moment, but I, I eventually I want to move the wave table and the mag or the magnetite separator over on that end possibly, um, and then probably even move this thing to like right in the middle between everything because I don't like being like stuffed in this damn corner, and it's just it just doesn't work. It doesn't. But anyway, like I said, we got that trail trail cleared out for getting down in there now so we are ready to rock with that I'm gonna do a little bit more of that off camera and I'll show you exactly why in a minute but you guys will understand when you see it's um, we gotta swap our magnetite bucket whoops get up here so oh, that's almost full let me actually just grab this out of there dump that in right away there we go yeah, you guys will see. You guys will see what I mean with doing that. We're gonna move on to these. Uh, this is the first bucket of mats. This is going to be just hog pan mats. Now, what I've been doing, as you can see, we got tons of mats. So I take the, I do the hog pan mats separate from the rest of it, and then this way you guys will get to see just how bad the hog pan mats are in comparison. So. As you can see, that is a full bucket of hog pan mats, and that's 53.58. Now, this should be, I believe this is all, um, that should just be all from the TDJ sluice box. So, you'll get to see quite a difference here. Now, this isn't going to be worth much, but here comes the number, and almost a thousand ounces of magnetite from that one bucket there so absolute hell of a difference that is for sure now I think this one is a combination one or or is this one all I can't remember to be perfectly honest one of them's a combination one of them is just pure pure TD TDJ mats so god that was a mouthful to try to say yeah, this was the combination one. But as you can see, that's it's really nice amount. Um, the gold has isn't great where we're, where we were digging, but it was it was fair. Some of it was pretty bad because it was stuff that was in my way, um, making my path down there. So I just kind of scooped it into the dump truck and said, you know what, it's going in through through the wash plant and. What we get out of it is going to be good enough. Because I think, God, I couldn't even tell you how many, how many dump truck loads of, of dirt we dug out of there and dumped off to the side. And I got lucky. I found a spot where I could dump it, where it didn't actually stick to the ground. It actually just like completely disappeared. So, but as you can see, the gold is pretty decent. It's not, it's not great. But again, we're not to the best stuff yet. That is coming very soon. I will be making a digging episode on that, but I want to 
You know, we might just do the digging episode from from where we're at right now. I mean, it, I don't think it's going to be too big of a deal. I'll show you what I'm talking about more when we're done with this. Um, but like I said, it, it, it was a big headache. It really was. It was, oh, it was just frustrating trying to get down there. But I think in the end it's going to be very much worth it. So, a couple things while we're still running through this stuff. Um, as you can see, we're one day to winter. So, we really need to get ourselves in gear and start either turning out some gold or just, you know, skip through the next season. But I want to, you know, I dug all that out now. I, I really want to see, see what's down there. So... We need a little bit of cash. We need to get ourselves the water tower up and running. Now, the water tower is going to allow us to uh, to be able to mine once once the temperature reaches down a little bit. It's gotten down to as far as 29 degrees now. So it is getting down below freezing. Thank God not enough to to screw with our our operations at all. But it's well, it, there really wasn't much it could have screwed with as far as us making our path, but um, pretty soon, once the once the water source over there freezes up, we're gonna need an external water source, meaning we're gonna need ourselves the water tower. So that's gonna be 150k plus the cost to fill it. Um, I don't know how much it costs to fill. I honestly. I honestly don't remember. It's it's been a while. Cat, don't even try it. No kitty interruptions tonight. We're almost at 300 ounces now. This is so. This is going to be another really nice, really really nice clean out. Um, and it's kind of. It really, really makes me excited to see what's gonna, what our cleanouts are gonna be like in the bottom of that hole now. I mean, I'm absolutely amped up to start, start mining that. Just, I can't wait. Um, but like I said, the water tower, 150 grand plus the cost to fill it. So we're gonna say 200,000 ish. But we're gonna be able to mine without any issue now because you know we got the trail cleared out so now it's basically going to be all about getting the the really good gold bearing material out of there and running it through the wash plant and i apologize if you can hear in the background my cat is in heat again so kind of a little bit of a a big mouth cat that's for sure we're going to let that bucket go through. We're going to take some more buckets over here and fill up our auto swap ones here. This is our magnetite. We're going to toss that in the truck right away. Now, I'm not going to go into town and smelt gold with you guys on camera this time. Uh, we would possibly have enough magnetite. Well, actually, you know what? We might do that. Let's just let's go take a look at get up here. Let's go take a look at our progress with the uh, uh, with our trench. So the biggest problem behind this whole trench thing is um, the equipment does not like to come up this hill. It really doesn't. Now, this is maybe a 20% grade, but as you guys know, the equipment on this game is like has no traction and is nutless. I mean you. Trying to get the dump truck up here, it comes up at about a kilometer per hour. Plus, this isn't exactly smooth. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty rough, rough mined out uh, trail. I'll actually get down here and show you guys. But I did this all with the excavator. Now, the reason for that is the bulldozer just wouldn't, wouldn't work. Um, I had tried the bulldozer. I had got the unloader. Neither one of them would would do much for me down here except kept getting stuck that's all so i finally just said you know what 
we got the excavator let's use it and this is how it turned out so as you can see it's not perfect but we removed a lot of dirt coming back into here and the dump truck comes in and out of here relatively okay there's a couple hang up spots but as you guys can see we are ready to start mining the hole um excavator got in here without too much issue except on that hill that hill trying to get up it nothing likes to go up it but i started clearing out like some of the side area here we'll actually toggle all these squares on the map so i can explain to you guys where i where i actually have been mining out and so i'm going to just toggle these first six because these are the ones like right close by here but as you can see you know we're right right about on the prime time cha-ching style gold here i mean look at this this square is like absolutely just mother load of goodness and you know all these are great i mean 200 ounces 200 ounces 200 ounces and you know we still got these which are absolutely fantastic as well this one's got a lot of gold in it at almost 400 you know 300 400 again so you know there's a lot of gold down here to be had yet and yeah as you can see i've been kind of i was kind of trimming up the path to get the dump truck into here and trimming this up as well so that was what i mined out of here to end that cleanup otherwise everything else come from the top over there before it but what i'm working on doing now as you can see i've kind of tried to make a flat ish kind of area trying to get a good like drivable path in here because eventually we're gonna need to bring the dump truck down in here uh down into here and we're gonna probably start like in the back here and just work our way forward mining all the way down to the bottom and yeah it's gonna be well let's actually let's actually go through the rest of the squares here and just see how much gold is in them you know so we got 200s are basically about the average this one's got all just primo gold in it i mean this is just solid dark yellow there you know there's 400 and a quarter ounces left in that tile there you know there's almost 400 left there i mean this is going to be where we make our money so every square like this minus this one i didn't clear the top off that one or that one actually but all these squares that i'm marking on the map here are are absolutely fantastic i mean we could go through quick and add up the numbers so 300 300 and a half 370 you know that's that's almost a thousand that's a thousand ounces between the those three right there and then you got 1200 there and then let's see we got 1300 between them and we'll call this another seven so should we almost got our season's total of gold left down in the bottom here and yeah i i can't wait i can't wait to see how these cleanups go in here i'm just absolutely ecstatic to see how this goes so like i said our digging episode is going to be basically us making a flatter surface down in here now so what we're going to do is we're just going to use the excavator to kind of like scoop and scrape and try to make it drivable at least I mean, it's not going to be perfect because as you can see the height depth from there to here varies about a meter or so possibly even two probably closer to two meters but you know so we're gonna have a little bit of probably a little bit of interesting interesting driving with the dump truck through that but we're just gonna be scooting our way across through here like i said trying to make it somewhat level or at, even if it's not level just drivable enough because you know you look at this this isn't level but there's no reason something can't drive across this when it can drive across my crappy trail down here so that's what you guys got to look forward to for the next episode is all this lovely mining down through here now another reason i'm making this video is i wanted to tell you guys thank you so much 
we have recently just hit 100 subscribers. So with that in mind, I wanted to give a big thank you to you guys. This isn't a 100 subscriber special video or anything like that. This is just me saying thank you. Um, like I said, I do plan on doing something for the 100 subscriber special. Uh, I didn't plan on doing like a... Uh, necessarily like a 100 subscriber video but whoops I want that junk thing there we go but what I would like to do um, is still something special it's not it's not necessarily uh, what you guys might be expecting but it should be really good however for the time being it that's gonna take a while to get to but for the time being, what I'd like to do is if you guys, if you guys want to, we can do a quest, uh, Q and A video, where while we're mining and stuff like that, I answer your questions, sort of thing. So if you guys have any questions you'd like to me to answer on camera, go ahead and submit them in the comment section down below, and I will definitely do, based on how many questions we got, I will do like a Q and A video for like a Monday episode. I'll say. So anyway, guys, let's head on into town. We're going to get some gold smelted, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to get ourselves the water tower and get prepped to do our next digging episode. So stay with me for a minute, guys, and I'll meet you at the blacksmith. All right, guys, we are at the blacksmith now. Let's actually take a look before we melt our gold. Or actually, you know what? We start to smelt, and then... While that's melting, I wanted to check out what it's going to cost like completely for all this. So, 15000 and we're probably sitting on, we got about 8,000 magnetite. Yeah, I think 8,000 magnetite, because we got a full bucket plus about 60%, and 60% would be 3,000. So, we got about 8K in magnetite back at the... Back at the claim and we're sitting on almost a thousand in our account already so i think our next triple clean out is gonna get us the last of the upgrades um the last episode we made i'm pretty sure i forgot to to show the leaderboard so i'm gonna do that here as soon as we get to the bank but um we did come up a little bit however it's you know, it's kind of going to be back and forth. Uh, now that we're finally, now that we're finally going to be on the massive amounts of gold, we should start coming up the leaderboard a bit more. But let's take a look at prices here. Ooh, 1220. Oh yeah. Highest price of the season and 20, or excuse me, 20. Wow. $214,000 for that. Absolutely fantastic I love it we're sitting on three hundred thousand dollars now before we start cleaning up the great gold now so let's take a look at the leaderboard and let it load up here real quick so as you can see we're currently in sixth place um, we're only about 650 ounces behind rank 5 and even the rank 1 we're only 2200 behind so you know, it's not too it's not too bad. Uh, do I expect to get the rank one? No, I don't. Um, but I guess we'll have to see how these cleanouts go because we're on some absolutely fantastic gold. So I guess we'll find out. But that's gonna do it for the episode, guys. Um, again, thank you guys so much for getting for getting me to a hundred subscribers. I really appreciate you guys being part of my community. Uh, I appreciate all your support, all the subs, likes on my videos, you know, everything you guys have done. I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. So, thank you guys. I, like I said, it means a lot to me. It really does. So, thank you guys so much for that. Um, yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. Next episode is going to be digging. And then we'll be doing a clean out video after that. So, we're going to end up doing another triple. And, you know very anxious very excited can't wait to see what the what gold's gonna come out of that um 
I think this is easily going to be our best clean out for the season by far. And what a way to end the season. So I'm going to get back at the... Oh, wait. You know what? Before we end the episode, let's go get the water tower. All right, guys. We're back on the claim. So let's go resurrect our water tower. That way we can see just how much a Phillips going to cost. Now, I don't think it's going to be too much, but I'm curious to see exactly how much. All right, 150K to repair, and that's not bad at all. 15K to fill it up, that ain't bad at all. So I was right, this is in liters, by the way. That's a million liters. But, yeah, 15K to fill it. This thing's all set to go, so, yeah, absolutely thrilled to death about that. That's going to run everything for us. Um, we can pack these suckers away before winter as well. But, again, that's going to do it for the episode. Like I said, next episode is all about the digging. So it's going to be a full, full episode just of digging. And I'll wash the mats, get them all, get everything ready to go. And you know what, maybe depending on how it goes, maybe we'll just do the whole, the whole works down in there as one complete clean out video to end the season before winter. Uh, depending on how long it takes, we might do the rest of the drilling on the claim before, before the permafrost sets in and possibly even start trenching out or clearing overburden. So, not sure how it's going to go, but like I said, that'll do it for this episode, guys. So, again, thank you guys so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you guys smash that like button for me. Remember, comment down below any questions you'd like me to answer in a Q&A video for Monday. Um, yeah, I'm, like I said, we'll do, do a little bit of that as we do some of our whatever we're doing at that point. Um, not sure where we'll be at on Monday on, as far as on the game, but, you know, I guess we'll find out together, won't we? So, again, thank you guys for being here, and we'll catch you guys for the next episode.